Come on. Got him. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Beauty right there. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh Look my. at it. <laughs> what is it? Super excited. Oh. What is it? <laughs> oh, time to. How's it going, everybody? It's Alex from Need My Fishing Fix. Today I've got a surprise for you guys. I went and caught a goldfish. So I'm going to show you a clean and cook on this goldfish. This is a beautiful goldfish. So, we're gonna have fun today. Um, we're not gonna cook it today, but I will cook it tomorrow. So I'll show you guys a recipe that way. But let's get straight to it, all right? The thing we wanna do is you wanna get your fish all splayed out nice and neat. And we're gonna find the spot right behind the gills. And you're gonna go ahead and cut. Get your knife underneath the scales and cut right down, okay? And we're gonna take the the blade. You're gonna work it back just like any other fish. Make sure you have a good sharp knife. These the scales on these guys are pretty darn strong. All right, and we're gonna leave a little handhold in the back. And we're gonna do work our way down. We're gonna feel for the ribs. We got that, so I can get this a little bit deeper in there. Okay. Ooh, this guy's gonna be a little bit bloody. A little bit. Didn't want to get blood everywhere. All right, and just keep working your way up around those ribs. And as you get down to the bottom of the ribs. You're going to feel that open up. This generally means there's no more meat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take it off right there. I'm going to work that back. Continue to follow the ribs. That's how you get every last bit of meat off of one of these guys. Alright, there we go. And now that we got that off, to go ahead and make a small little cut along the skin itself and this is where it helps to have a nice flexible knife and you just work your way down and there we go what you're gonna feel for is you're gonna feel for the bones now there should be like a small array of bones right here just uh, about three or four or five and what you want to no. do is you want to take a pair, of, no. a pair of tweezers or even a uh, nail clippers. And you just stick them in there and you'll pull them out. It's pretty easy. It's not that big of a deal though, to be honest with you. So, here we go. Let me go ahead and wash that off. So you can see the kind of color we're actually looking at. Look at that, beautiful meat. Surprising, off of a goldfish, what you'd, what you'd find. But that is pretty. Okay, so, all right, same process on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and lift up underneath the scales with your knife, there you go. And you're just gonna cut straight down from there. Like I said before, it really helps to have a good, sharp knife. Right uh, between the fins. It's a pain in the butt to get. But you can see it's a decent chunk of meat. The issue is, it's right next to the gut and everything. Cleaning this out is a pain in the butt. These ribs are extremely strong. But if you want it, you can have it. It's just going to be eating around a couple of uh, bones that's it but that's it so as you can see it's just your average fish with the guts I mean everything's 
everything's normal. So all you did, you all you do if you really wanted to to get these extra pouches, because there's an extra pouch of meat right here underneath the ribs. There's an extra pouch of meat on the opposite side. You just clean out the inside of it and um, and go to town. I mean, it's just your basic fish. If you want to fillet, if you want to scale it, then you've got, I mean, full on, full size rib racks as well. Let me show you guys that real quick. See this, this chunk of meat? I mean, full fish ribs, if you really want to do it. But that's it, that's a that's goldfish. I'm here for those fillets because those are the best parts right there. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. Have a good day.